Alright Rick, we've come to the point in this video where we preview some games. As usual we have four games, so let's get started. LBJ, McCallum. If LBJ wins, they're probably going to win the district title outright. If McCallum wins, it's probably going to be a three-way tie again between them, Travis, and um, the Jaguars. So how do you see this one playing out? I see it as a great battle of running backs. Michael Sorrells from McCallum and Dante Price from LBJ. The last three weeks I think LBJ has been uh, rock solid in that district. I, I would be surprised if LBJ did not come out with a win here. Yeah, this game, um, both teams have very fine running backs, but I think this is going to be decided by the quarterbacks. Darius Collins coming off a 16 for 17 performance against Crockett and Colton Lesson. He's been he's had an up and down season, but he's had a lot of shiny moments for that team. Um, I just think Colton may, may make a one more pass than Darius does. So I'm going to give the win to McCallum, and as usual, we're going to have a three-way tie in that district. Um, our next game, we're going to go Coppers Cove, A&M Consolidated, A&M Consolidated 6-1, um, Coppers Cove is 7-0. This one could decide the 12-5A title. Who do you like in this one? I'm going to go with A&M Consolidated, which might be a mild upset. I was uh, interested to know that Coppers Cove did not complete a pass in their, their, their win last week, and that's very unusual for a, a 5A team. They beat Bryan 21-17. I think A&M Consolidated is just a little bit more balanced on both sides of the ball. They can run, they can pass. Uh, I just think it right now, they're playing at home. It makes a big difference. I'm going with Consolidated. Yeah, Coppers Cove, no one's going to be scared of their you know, pass and attack. But when you run the ball the way they do, you don't really need to pass it. Um, two very fine running backs. Orlando Thomas has been very good for them at quarterback. And their defense, they have two. Um, Trevor Valdez is a defensive lineman that's going to Baylor and Brandon Durant, um, linebacker that's going to UTEP. So solid on both sides of the ball. I'm just going to go with Cove in this one. Um, I, I think they'll remain undefeated. Um, let's go Bastrop Connolly. Um, you know, everyone expected Bastrop to be here at this point in the season. Connolly has surprised some people, and Connolly is the undefeated team out of these two. Who do you see is going to win this game? Uh, I see Connolly. The, the way they beat Hutto, I was at that game. Connolly's got. A very opportunistic uh, offense led by uh, Kenneth DeFee, that shining running back. Mm -hmm. uh, I just think they've got more going for them right now. Being 2-8 and eight last year, 7-0 and oh this year. Howard McMahon, you know, a uh, great coach, maybe early coach of the year candidate. Uh, but it's going to be a great game. I'm going with Bastrop simply for Josiah Monroe. I think ever since he got um, tossed out of that game against Brian Rutter, he has been lights out, playing like he has something to prove. So um, if Connolly can't stop him, they have no chance, and I don't think they'll be able to. Can, they might be able to you know, hold him to you know, a couple touchdowns, but those couple touchdowns are going to be the difference. Um, and finally, we got Westwood, Georgetown. Once again, two teams we might not have seen you know, pushing for the playoffs at the beginning of the year, but both teams have been playing well. Both teams have beaten Pflugerville. Who's going to win this game? Oh, boy, I tell you what, um, who are they again? Westwood and Georgetown. Westwood and Georgetown. You talk about two teams that can pass the football. I like Georgetown. Georgetown, uh, they had three guys last week who caught passes for 100 yards. Uh, Cal Spangler, all by himself, had 200 yards receiving. I think this is going to be 50 to 49. I won with Westwood. Um, ben Johnson's a very good quarterback, but I think Westwood's defense is better. Westwood held, held that Pflugerville offense to 19 points, and that Pflugerville offense got 51 against Georgetown. So I think Westwood's going to be able to put up the points against the Georgetown defense. I think their defense is a little bit better, and it's going to be able to control that passing game a little bit more than Pflugerville did last maybe, week. Maybe 51 to 48. Oh, man, I'm going to be at that game, so there's a lot of scoring. That's going to be a long night for me. It's be a five-hour game. <laughs> All right, um, those are our games. As always, check back on Saturday to see how we did, and thanks for joining us.